right down the middle here. Like right here. We're on day two and today is even foggier than it was yesterday, so we're loving it. I'm also, on the contrary, feeling like my idea for bare feet was stupid because it's now muddy and freezing. Should be a good day though. It should be an excellent yes, day. We have the Civil Wars coming today. Of course, they're going to be they're going to be shooting in some really rough terrain too, um, a heated cabin. Well, I see that we've picked the muddier, exactly. one of the muddier areas. Act yeah. actually, this, actually, this is the good road. The low road is the muddy one. This is, yeah, you get the glam yeah. treatment. Some of my favorite collaborations are the ones that happen in a serendipitous way. Cut. Very okay, good. cool. Let's go yeah. to the pond. You had no idea this was going to happen yesterday, but it's happening today. I love the Civil Wars. I've been going to their shows for a year and a half, two years, and so I was working on the soundtrack with T-Bone Burnett, who's producing it, and uh, he said, um, you know, the Civil Wars are in town. Do you want to go to the show with me? We were out on the West Coast, um, coming down the coast tour-wise. We should call someone. We should call Joy. We should call JP. I think it was T-Bone. He said, we should call Joy. And I said, we should call both of them. And Taylor texted me and, and said, are you in town? And I, I said, LA? Yeah, we're in LA just for today. And she said, I'm in LA too. And I'm writing the song today for the Hunger Games with T-Bone. And I really want you guys to be a part of it. They were in LA. We were in LA. They had the day off. They came and wrote with us right before sound check, went and played their show that night. And, and this beautiful, wonderful, creation came about because of it. Working with Taylor it was so much fun. It was easy. She's so creative. She's got great ideas and John Paul just started playing that guitar, you know, riff just kind of out of thin air and you know, lyrics just started floating around that room really easily. I remember tears streaming down your face when I said I'll never let you go. It was completely organic and once we walked out of there it was with guitar vocals and so T-Bone worked his magic from there. We felt completely confident walking away and saying, all right, do your thing. Working with T-Bone Burnett was absolutely wonderful because he just has incredible taste for where music should go. What impressed me the most about this track is how he left it to the song. You and I'll be safe sound. He could have made it so big, he could have put a choir behind us singing at the end. He could have done a million things, but what he did was make it about the song. Cut. I can't say that there was a specific scene that we went to from the movie to, to begin writing that with Taylor and T-Bone. That's one great thing about the books, about the whole franchise, is that there's so many different dynamics between characters that that song could be about. It could be Katniss and her sister or Katniss and Rue. But on top of that, it doesn't have to be specific to the movie either. We like to keep the edges just gray enough. It can be whatever you want it to be. We got it. Cool. Moving out.